Hey, Jason here from Bohemia Bees, and we're here in Leonardtown, Maryland, with uh, my bee partner here, uh, Tudor Franku. He's ready to help me out. We're going to relocate these hives behind us. The owner of them, unfortunately, is uh, allergic, so he's now going to pass those along to Tudor and allow him to relocate these to the Bohemia Apiary on the eastern shore of Maryland. We're going to help Tudor uh, build them out and grow them, and then where he relocates them to his, his new space. Uh, but these are the colonies, and we're going to show you how we close up colonies. We got here a little later than we want. It's a little dark, but we uh, still have some nice uh, truck light to help us figure them out. The, the girls are uh, bearding a little bit, so uh, we're going to see if we can take care of that too and then close them up. Okay, so we've got three deep colonies here, 10 frames in each. And there may be a double deep here that we also have to. What we're likely going to do here is to try to get the bees that are on the outside, coax them in with some smoke. And then we'll brush any more that beard into a box, dump them in the top, tape them up, and then we'll relocate them in the back of the truck, put some screen on the front, and we should be good to go. So um, we're going to go ahead and see how we uh, this works out. I'm sure you know how to use a, an iPhone. So what I'm doing now is I'm smoking them because they're going to rush in and start gorging on the honey. Staple gun.
Okay, so 15, 20 minutes later, we've got these colonies inside their boxes. We're cleaning up the rest of the equipment and we're gonna now transfer the boxes to the back of the truck and we'll be on our way. Good morning, Jason here from Bohemia Bees. And it's the next morning and we had relocated three colonies. That would be the larger one here on the right and um, the two other ones here. We're gonna take a quick peek inside. You can see there's still, there's a lot of bees coming and going. Uh, we won't do a full inspection on them today, but we wanna make sure that we at least see what we see, that we got the majority of the bees and uh, See that it was a successful relocation to the apiary and we'll continue to manage them from here. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we're here back in the apiary. We've relocated these from uh, the client's location. Um, I've got naturally uh, Mr. Tudor here with me. He's on the camera. We're gonna go through this hive. We got another uh, uh, client of mine as well, Harry, who's here with us. We're gonna go through this colony. We're gonna go through the other two colonies to determine what we have um where the brood is at if anything if there's a queen or not and if we need to install a queen we will uh, but really just do an inspection full inspection on the colony so um as with any colony um where you would want to walk up make sure that they are active at the entrance you're going to smoke your entrance and then you're going to remove the lid and i always set it to the side to use it for um a lid to set your, your box on. One thing I'm observing really quickly is that there's not a lot of activity. This is a solid inner cover. Um, so there's very little activity at the top entrance, the top there. So that tells me there's not a lot of bees up here, but we're gonna take a look and see what we see. So as we crack the lid, we have a few bees kind of walking around the top cover. We'll set that to the side. I look for my queen, but she likely will not be on there. If you come a little closer, you can see, Tudor, if you look down in, I talk a lot about volume of bees. This right here is not a lot of volume of bees. If I pulled any random frame out, it's one or two bees on it, okay? So that's a problem. That's an issue with these, these, this, this being on here. This is way too much space. I don't know what the bottom box looks like, but the top box definitely needs to go. I always say that when I uh, give people advice on bees, bees are not reptiles. You don't give them a big tank to grow into. You gotta manage the bees to the frames. It's an 80-50. 80% coverage in your box, 50% coverage on the frames. Remember those two numbers and that'll help you guide you. Obviously don't have 80% coverage on the frames and you obviously don't have 50% coverage on, on the actual frame. Or 80% in the box and 50% on the, on the frames. So let's go ahead and crack the middle. And we'll get all those bees out of the middle as well, or the top box. Set that to the side. And if you come closer now and see the top, this middle box, he's got what appears to be one, two, three, four, maybe five, maybe six frames with bees on it. So that's not the 80, it's this, that's 60. 60% 60 coverage in the box. And I have no idea what the coverage is on the frames, but of that 60%, you should have 50% or more coverage on, on the frames. So the first thing we're gonna next do is go ahead and take a look at this outside frame, which has lots of bees on, or a few bees on it. So we're gonna remove that frame, but we'll put it back in. We're gonna take a look at the next frame and work our way across. Okay, so this frame has drawn comb. You can see what they've done here is they've actually drawn the comb so it's sitting above the foundation. So this is what I call messy comb or comb that's not, um, not ideal for beekeepers to have. Uh, there is nectar in here. It looks at one point they've had drones. There's a lot of drone brood. And the difference you can see drone brood is how wide it is. It's very, very wide, okay? So for the purpose of this actual exercise, um, we're gonna leave this in here and we'll remove this at another point. Um, I need to get this colony growing. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking this frame because it looks like it has all resources on it, flipping it around and hope they draw good comb on that side. 
and eventually I'm going to pull that frame out, scrape that off, and give them a fresh frame to actually start to work on. It really depends on what we see in the colony. Our next frame, and pull straight out, and they've done a better job at building a little bit more on this side, okay? And I'm looking for a queen, okay? I don't see eggs, but I see a little bit of drawn comb. They did a better job of drawing out that comb, and they did an okay job on this side as well, where they've got a ton of capped honey. So good resources on this side, but I look down in the cells and we're not seeing any eggs or any larva. Okay, so that's a, a concerning sign. I see a handful of drones, not a lot of drones, which means that we probably don't have a laying worker or we didn't have a laying worker, I should say. So again, I'm taking that resource frame and I'm flipping it around and I'm putting it in the outside. Okay, very, Bees are, seem to be very gentle. I'm putting my hand right on top of them and they're not coming at me. So that's, a, that's an interesting sign. What I'll also point out is that the bees don't seem to be shivering on the frame. When they're queenless, they shiver. So that tells me that we may have a queen in here, but I'm not seeing any eggs or larva. They may be just honey bound. Okay, right here we'll see a bee. He's doing a waggle dance, see that? Mm -hmm. What he's doing is going in a, a circle and then going into a line and waggling to let the other bees know where the nectar resources are. And I'm seeing a lots of pollen in here, no eggs, and nectar. I'm seeing a lot of honey and, and some pollen resources. So another heavy resource frame, big amount of pollen on this side over here. I'm not seeing a queen. Oh, well, I do see a queen. There Whoa. we go, found a queen. Come over in here, Tudor. See at the top over here, Al? When you get a bee, Tudor, film here, film here real quick. When you get a bee sting, the best thing you can do is take your hive tool and scrape across, and that helps get the stinger out and the thing. So you get a little double one here. That's how you remove, <laughs> so you help get rid of the sting. Um, but in this hive, we've got a queen. She's right there. You see her? Mm -hmm. So that's a good sign. So I don't see her laying in this one, per se. She may be laying on the frame next to it and she's just working her way to this frame. I'm gonna take this frame and I'm gonna put it back down over here just for a second and determine what's happening on this next frame. Hopefully we're gonna see brood. Interesting find. Straight out. Okay, so we do have a queen right. She's queen right. She's not just a queen, but if you look in there, you see all the little pearlized larvae. Mm -hmm and all the things in there. See the, see the larvas in, the sh in there? Mm -hmm. So she's been laying on this frame and I see eggs in all stages, larva in all stages. We have some burr comb on the bottom, which we can get rid of. <clears throat> so Tudor, remember when I said that the bees seem to be really calm? Mm -hmm. they, they seem to be kind of like they're not shivering on the frame. Um, that is actually a sign that they are queen right. One of the things you can do when you're inspecting your hive is if you take the frame and they seem like they're just kind of erratically moving on the frame. They're almost like they're shivering. And if you stick your hand here and they're just, they just seem very, very agitated. That is a sign that they are not queen right. So make observation of that and we'll take a look at another one that's maybe not queen right. So I'm just scraping some of that burr comb off. Try to get your burr comb that you scrape off away from the, the base of the hives. You can put it in your stock of wax that you're building. Mm -hmm. If you lay it around the base of the hive, it draws hive beetles, so you don't want to do that. Big pieces of wax, that is. All right. So now that we found a queen and we see larvae and stages in there, pollen in there, there's a, there's a queen cell on the bottom and there's nothing in it. So that will be a queen cell right there. And it's completely empty, so I'm gonna pinch that off. There's a cup, I'm gonna pinch that off. B volume, there's another cup, nothing in it. This is more than 50% coverage on the frames. Remember we talked about the 80-50? That's 50%, and it should be because it's a, it's a frame full of larvae, all right? A 
good pollen resources in here. Solid, look at the color of that pollen. See that? Mm -hmm. The color of that pollen. I'm gonna actually move that to the outside because there's a lot of empty frame for her to lay on. If they're starting to draw that out, that's really good. I'll set that to the side. Looks like they did another little wonky comb right there. We'll take care of that one. Okay. So this one has some open. I'm going to put the, the pollen facing out. And then this one has tons of resources in it. So this is all resource. See it glistening? That's honey in there. Okay. So I'm going to let that also be to the outside as well. All right. So now i got a couple things going on. i got my pollen to the outside, some open frame there. I know my queen's over here. I'm gonna take the one frame, get all the bees off of it. And what I do is I scrape this comb off, okay? And I'm gonna put another frame of, that's actually a little bit better coated in there that they'll draw out because there's very little wax on that frame. And I have a video that will, I can link, put in the link in the description that will show you how to coat frames with beeswax. But this one was already starting to be drawn out. They were accepting that really well. You can see what they were doing there. So I'm gonna put that in here and I'm checkerboarding now. I'm determining, I want them to start to put their resources into these other frames and start to grow. This frame was not coated very well, okay? It seemed to be very dry from wax. But I'm gonna take a look up in the top to see if there's any up top that have a better coating of wax. There we go. So when I look at this one compared to this one, oh, I apologize. See that difference of those? This one has more wax coating on it than this one. So I'm gonna use this frame right here and drop that in the middle. Take and slide over that frame. And the queen is on this frame if everyone remembers. So I'm gonna take these two frames and push them out, slide her over and look for one more that has a better coating on it. And that one does too. So this one is not tacky. This is tacky. So it has better wax on it. So I'm going to take this and drop it straight down in. And now tighten up my frames. Okay. And we're good to go. We're going to leave this box. I'm going to shake the rest of the bees in there. The dead bees. Put our inner cover back on. lid and we're good to go all right so we've inspected that colony we found a queen good volume of bees checkerboarded the frames reduced the excess space we're gonna let them be we're gonna let them be for a while probably about seven to ten days we'll come back check on it maybe seven to fourteen days let her do her job let her continue to fill out the brood's nest um, it's, it's now beginning of July, so likely we're going to focus 100% on building a strong brood's nest and not honey. So the, uh, that's the goal right now is to make sure we can get them strong enough to go into winter. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching. We're going to continue on and look at the rest of these colonies and see what we find. Hopefully we find a queen. If we don't, we'll insert a queen um, and kind of go from there. But this was just a, a continuation to the, the move that we did the other day to make sure we can inspect these hives, determine what we see and share with you so we can show you how we did a, a proper inspection after we relocated the bees. Thanks for watching uh, Bohemia Bees. We are, um, make sure you follow us online, make sure you follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, and continue to support us here at Bohemia Apiary where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby, it's an obsession. Right gentlemen? Yes, Have sir. a great day. Thanks for watching.